Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Oscar Paricio. Um, I'm an HVAC instructor out of uh, SJVC. I've been doing it for four years now. I got into the HVAC field uh, after serving eight years in the military. You don't have to do, you know, residential like I do. You can work on refrigerators, the, you know, walk-in refrigerators, regular refrigerators, you know, stuff that you could find, you know, at somebody's house or at a restaurant or at a school, at a campus, you know. Myself, being prior military, I had a lot of students come in wanting to go, you know, feel that camaraderie of, you know, brotherhood of working, you know, with their friends. So what they did is they worked back on base. You know, they're working back in Camp Pennington, but, you know, instead of, you know, working in the military, they're actually doing air conditioning. Being in the field, you only need really uh, one main certification, and that's your uh, EPA 608 certification, you know, which certifies you to work on, on, uh, work on different refrigerants, you know, small, medium, and low appliance units. You know, but after you, you get that 608, you're pretty much good uh, at that certificate or certification, which is which uh, what it's called. It never does expire. You know, it, it could it could never expire, but you just have to keep up with, you know, knowing the new regulations and laws. So you don't have to get it recertified or anything like that. Um, you know, and then at, once you get your EPA 608, you don't stop there. You know what I mean? You keep going and, you know, making um, something out of, out of what you have. You know, there's so many certifications you could get. What I always tell students before they enter the program, you know, this is something that is that is that cannot be taught um, just by going to a company and working, right? If you try that approach, it, it usually don't last because a lot of ASIN companies want you to have some experience, in, you know, having the background saying, "Hey, I completed a trade program." You know, it just looks a lot better in paper, um, especially because some of these programs, you know, uh, for example, our program only takes 10 months. You could graduate high school, attend a 10-month program, and then start a career when vice versa. Other people are just, you know, still finishing their first year in college. Mm -hmm.